an amateur boxing club. Great, yeah. So first of all, um, could you tell people who don't know a lot about Pat Bunton Boxing Academy about what you do here? Okay, um, so we are a an amateur boxing club yeah. and I guess we've had a presence in Small Heath and this area for about 50 years. Mm -hmm. um, run largely and, and um, named after its, its namesake, so yeah. Pat Benson Senior. Uh, who's still here every day, um, bringing his experience, knowledge, capacity in, in, in running it. Yeah. And his grandson is the manager, Paddy Benson. Okay, and um, I understand a few for the Lagmets Coventry on um, Saturday. How did that go? Yeah, interesting. <laughs> it's, it's never, uh, never simple. Um, you get people that. Uh, that make things up and, and will try and, and pull them all over your eyes. We had three lads on on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, one of our own boxers sort of omitted to tell me that he wasn't feeling particularly well. Oh. So his fight didn't go especially well. Um, yeah. And then we had one win by split decision. It was a very close fight. Yeah. And then one guy put on a real good basic demonstration of what amateur boxing should be. Yeah. Used his jab, kept it long, used all of the gifts that he's got and, and used them to the best of his ability and he, he took he took his lad apart really. Yeah. And um, what did you learn on Saturday that you can take into Friday? Um it's keeping things basic, basic things and simple technique just works. Trying to be fancy, trying yeah. to do things that aren't natural for the the guys that are in there because uh, they might have seen something and get influenced by other things yeah. um, just really to strip it back and do what what kind of works for them uh, and then get out of the way when somebody wants to punch them yeah it's a really <laughs> good idea yeah yeah um, and as a trainer what's the message you try and get across to the young boxers well, from from a boxing point of view it's it's don't get hit really yeah quite like that um a lot of, of the sport has come on, um, probably with with sort of the evolution of social media and, and all the rest of it. Um, superstars like Floyd Mayweather being very defensively minded. Um, it's not always what uh, what's inside for some boxers. They just want to stand on each other's toes and yeah. try and kill each other. Um, but yeah, my my responsibility, I think, is to try to not get them hurt. Yeah, and is there any people we should look out for come Friday? I think we've got a really good lineup. We've got a really good lineup. There isn't there isn't a single person I would name and say this is this is the one to watch. Yeah. Um, Tafari was the guy who boxed exceptionally well on Saturday. He is on again. Mm -hmm. um, Ethan won and, and, and in doing so was in a very close fight. Yeah. His opponent um, he knows about and there's there's all manner of potential yeah. um, grief between them perhaps. So that might be a really good one or it might not go uh, yeah. in his favour if he, if he lets emotion into it. We've got a couple of people that have had nothing before so we'll be making debuts. Yeah, um, yeah should be should be a really good lineup. And you talk about lads making debuts there. What advice would you give to the lads come Friday? Relax. Yeah. The hardest thing in the world to actually do, based on the advice, but so many people have got such a big, big mindset as to what it should be like. Yeah. Um, relax, but do so by being busy. Yeah. So if you start, if you kick off, you will because you've, you've thrown punches thousands and thousands of times on the yeah. bags and on pads and in technique and inspiring. Um, the worst thing you can do is, is seconds out round one and stand still Yeah. and then let your opponent do what they want to do. If you start, you've got a, a better chance, certainly as a, 
as a complete novice yeah. uh, in taking control and then and then dominating them. Yeah. Uh, whereas if you let them take centre stage, you, you're you're at their their whim. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, good luck and thank you for your time. So first of all, Ethan, uh, tell us about your time here at Pat Benson Boxing Academy. Uh, it's been uh, great here. I've been boxing here like six years, and it's been yeah good. And um, understand a couple of lads, including you, went to Coventry on Saturday. Yeah. How did you? Go, how did that go for you? No, I got the win. But yes. A bit. My, my fitness weren't there, but still, overall, I beat him. Yeah. And you say your fitness weren't great there. What did you learn from that fight that you can take into Friday? Uh, compose myself more. Don't go out there and rush into the fight. Yeah. Control the pace. Yeah. Okay. And on the 9th of November. Uh, you got a long-awaited win after um, having to stop fights. What did you? What did that do to your confidence? It made it made me a, made me feel a lot better. Yeah. And feel like more a lot more confident for the the wins I'm getting so far. Yeah. Helped me a lot. Mm. And I understand Carson um, hasn't been here that long. What yeah. impact do you think he has had on you as a trainer? He's had loads of impact. He's had. He's taught me new angles. He's taught me. To be, to like, he's motivated me. Yeah. He's taught me to away shows. He's just done loads of things. Great. Yeah. Finally, um, how's your preparation going for the fight night on Friday? Just good dieting. Yeah. Eating healthy, not eating rubbish and that. Yeah, yeah. And and lots of steep. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, thanks for your time. Right. So, uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself as a fighter. Uh, my name's Owen Keynes. Uh, I've been in the championships. I lost in the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. uh, I've just I've been here for about four, four, five years now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what what is the, what is it that you love about Menton Boxing Academy? It's more than just the club. It's like a, we, we we all get along in here. It's like a, a big family. Like, you know what I mean? There's no there's no arguments or anything like that. Yeah. And everyone supports each other. I had a fight night. How are you feeling? Uh, for Friday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel ready because I had a back injury. Okay. Uh, yeah. That was like about seven months ago. Yeah. And this is my fight, like my first fight back, and I'm feeling yeah. a lot better than what I feel fight fit now. And you say about your first fight back there, what um, preparation have you done, having having a long term, long time out of Just I've been doing loads of training, and getting fit, one to one sessions with uh, yeah. Pad Fit, uh, this is a pad, pad company. Yeah. Uh, to finish off, what is it that you love about boxing as a sport? It's just disciplined and it just makes you learn as a person how yeah. to like be disciplined in life and how to fight through things. All right, well, thank you for your time and good luck on Friday. Thank you. Cheers. Um, so, first of all, um, tell us a little bit about you as a person and as a fighter. Uh, well, I'm 16. Yeah. Uh, I just box my fashion now, my debut Friday. Yeah. And talk about your debut there, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling confident. I'm as fit as I think I could ever be. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm slightly nervous, but yeah, yeah. Whatever happens, happens. And what impact do you think um, the boxing academy has had on you since you've been here? Oh, a lot. Like, I'm more disciplined. Um, I, I, just, I feel great. Yeah. I used to like. I used to doubt myself all the time. Yeah. Now I don't. I'm. I'm completely focused about this. And yeah. And what is it that you love about this boxing academy? Everything. Yeah. What, what's not to love? And ahead of fight night, it actually it's debut. Yeah. Um, how, what impact has Carlton had on you as a trainer? Oh, he's great. He's running through the techniques and making sure I'm fit, on weight. Yeah. He, yeah, he's good. He's a great coach. And with it being your debut, what preparation has gone into Friday? Uh, a lot of technique, a lot of uh, fitness. So yeah. a lot. I've been doing sprints, lots of lot of sparring rounds, yeah. just just so that I'm used to going through the actions. Yeah. And to finish off. What is it that you love? about boxing as a sport? Hitting someone in the face. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's, okay. it's the best bit. Yeah, all right. Cheers. All right, cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. So, uh, first of all, thank you for taking the time to speak to me. So, um, yeah. Could you tell us a bit about yourself as a fighter and as a person? Well, to be fair, I do like the fighting, fighting part of it. Yeah. Um, I got into it a bit. I think like four years ago and that was only for like football training and stuff like that but since I got into it I started to like it, I started to like take part in obviously bouts and stuff like that then yeah. now it's just second like nature, like I, 
I love the sport to be fair. Yeah, and how long have you been at the club? Uh, I'd say coming on like four years. Yeah. But I had like two years out because of like injuries and stuff like that. Yeah. So I ain't been mm. fighting really. So you've been here four years. How far yeah. have you come in them four years? I've come a long way, like through the discipline side of it as well. Because when I first started, like I used to, like I used to get sent home and stuff like that. I used to miss paving sessions and that. But now I've learned how to like cope with all the situations and just gain more discipline. To be fair. And what is it that you love about? This academy. Um, about this academy is like it's like everyone's like a family. Like we take care of each other. Like even in, within sparring and within even within everyday sessions, like yeah. we help each other to get better and improve on our skills and stuff like that. And obviously, the club's got um, a lot of history. Yeah, what, what's your opinion on that? Fifty years. Like that was from the other day. Yeah. It's. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And how are you feeling ahead of fight night? I'm feeling fit. Like I thought last sat, I thought yeah, I thought last Saturday. Yeah. Got a win there, so now I'm just trying to tick over and try to get another win on Friday. Okay. And what did you learn from Saturday that you can maybe take into Friday? Well, how to like. Is there anything that you took from that maybe that you may be able to take into Friday? Well, the one on Saturday was a was a rematch versus someone that I lost to before, okay. and I thought that I'd done well to be fair, like. I started using a jab more, I started finding my distance and using my range well to be fair. But for the next fight I think it's more of trying to use my right hand more and try slipping a little uppercut so yeah. that the opponent won't get as close to me to be fair. And what sort of preparation have you gone into um, this fight after you had the fight on Saturday? So yeah. how is, how, what's the preparation been like for Friday? I'm just going to try to do more runs. I'm, uh, Focus more on my stance yeah. and my footwork. Come my footwork and it needs to improve by a lot to be fair. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna try to improve my footwork and it to be fair. Yeah. And you've been here you know, four years now. What impact do you think Carlton has had on the um on, on you as a person since you've been here? Massive impact because like since he's come he started to focus more on individuals. Yeah. So he's telling people what we need to work on and stuff what we're doing good at. So yeah, it's it's kind of like it is beneficial to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for your time and good luck on Friday. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. So the club have um, two uh, classes going on throughout the week. They have a beginner's class which goes on three times a week and then they have the squad training which goes on four times a week. Um, Carlton and Dave will take uh, the squad training and some other another lad will take the beginners training. Obviously the squad training is a squad that goes out to fight night and will be f um, some of the lads will be fighting on Friday and they'll just go through the techniques and the preparation, what they need to work on. And speaking to a few of the lads there, I think since Carlton has been there, it's made them focus about themselves as an individual and what they can get better on individually rather than what the whole squad, squad can do as a whole. So I think Carlton has really helped them a lot there. Uh, the, the academy also works hard on um, helping with the local community and um, one of the organisations they work with is MindFit which their aim is to be helping people between the age of 20 and 60 with mental health issues and they also do a lot of the work within the community so you know they, they don't just focus on the boxing they also try and help people around them too which is great. An amateur boxing club. Yeah. Um, great year. Yeah.